This is supposed to be from a brushed motor. However, now it's pretty much brushless. Okay, whatever. Sorry if that was not too funny. What's up? It's RC Mechanic here and today I'll be talking about some motor problems I've had recently with both brushed and brushless motors. This here is a Hobbywing 4000kV 4 4 pole motor. It's basically made for short course trucks or 1 8 vehicles but I kept it as an extreme case backup for my Axial S610. I soldered this thing and when I hooked it up to my Sidewinder both the motor and ESC got really hot and it wouldn't work. So I unplugged the battery and plugged the motor and I'm pretty sure that it shorted in here while I was soldering it. My fix for that is going to be soldering it directly to the windings. I'll hope it will work. However, this motor seems to be lost as it is now. This is what's left of the brushes of a Traxxas Titan 12 turns. I used it in my S610 while I was on vacation and I ran it in the water for like 30 minutes and it was dirty water because the S610 was stuck in one place and it started making this grinding noise, it sounded really bad, now I know why. You can see, I, at least I hope you can see that even the copper brush holders are completely gone. This motor died fast but it got abused so I can't really blame it. If you want to know what I'm talking about with the weird noise and stuff, it sounded like this. So that was it for the Titan 12 turns. This here is my Novak Ballistic 21 and a half turns brushless. It's a sensor motor and at first I've had some problems with waterproofing this. For those that don't know, the sensor sits in the back here and if you dunk it there is a chance that it starts glitching or you just completely lose the sensor board. And what I did is dip it in Corrosion X and it worked for a while but then it started glitching and I thought oh well the sensor board is lost. But after like a week and letting it dry out it came back to life and it still worked. Now I have completely plastic dip the outside, well pretty much completely, and sealed all the water out and that really helped. So far it's holding up pretty good. It's safe to say that this is the smoothest motor I've ever had in any RC car. I was really used to sensorless before and this made a big, big difference. However, it's kind of a hassle with the motor not being waterproof. And also most sensorless ESCs are not waterproof also. So what I could do is get some conformal coating, but it's really not that easy to get here in Belgium. Actually, it's pretty hard. So I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this here. I might be trying something sensorless next. Most people might say, dude, you can't crawl with sensorless, but I've seen it work. And I also believe that I can actually make it work in this S610 if I use the correct setup. If you watched my last video, you know that my Mamax Pro went up in smoke. So that's another reason why sensorless might be an alternative for me, because it's easier to get a waterproof sensorless ESC. Brushed? Nah, not again. I've seen a lot of brushed motors have big trouble getting through dirty water, so that's not going to be it either. I think sensorless might be a good option. I will try it, but maybe not right now. Like I said in the last video, I have a temporary alternative. It's this ESC here, Novak Iger, and it can actually do brushless despite saying brush ESC on the box on 2S LiPo. So with this motor, it will work perfectly. So I'm going to be running that for a while, and in the meantime, I'm going to be looking for something sensorless that I can just dunk as it is and don't care about it much except for the bearings. So that's it for this little update, thanks for watching and see you next time.